Hey guys, what's going on? Today, um, I am actually going to be reading my speech for graduation. I don't know if you've ever seen, um, my, uh, stash before. That's new. Um, so, um, really do feel bad for the people that can't, uh, celebrate their night to shine, which is prom. And I feel sorry for the people that all of a sudden can't have their own graduation ceremony. Um, I really feel sorry for people who are staying home because of this virus. And I feel bad that, that people never had a full education. But I really hope that online classes um, make, kept them making sure their brains are fully developed and have their computers all programmed. Um, now, I can't read this speech because my printer is out of ink. So I will be reading it to you uh, from my uh, Google Docs. Now, I couldn't really find my... Um, um, I can't really find my uh, cap and gown, so I can't really find my cap, so unfortunately I don't know if this is actually, I just wish that it had a cap because um, that would be a really nice feature and not like I'm going to get any, uh, not like I'm going to get a lot of views on YouTube, but I wish this thing went viral, but so I'm pulling it up here and there it is, um, and of course I am actually going to start from the top. Good evening. My name is Jackson Bongio. Before I knew, my mom was planning for me to go to CVEC when I was uh, older. When the time came, I was ready. In the start of the 2015 to 2016 school year, I first started at CVEC. I started going in the afternoon. I was like most teens who never liked the feeling of having a job. I first started in the fall of 2015 by job training at the Mandel Jewish Community Center. I was working in the fitness center, replacing from dirty to clean towels who used to wipe sweat off people's faces. I was working there every afternoon. Somehow, the days were sometimes a little rough for me. Heck, it was my first year of CVEC. What would you expect? When I had a job tryouts, I tried working at the food bank. I never liked working with food. Then I tried working at the hotel and I liked it better than the food bank later when 2016 started. I began my journey from the JCC to the Doubletree Hotel in Beachwood, Ohio. I first started in the laundry room. It was pretty crowded and stressful. I was getting bumped all the time because there was a lack of space in the laundry area. I started to strip Lindens from each hotel room. Instead, I slow and I never got a lot of work done. I was fooling around. In the summer, I worked in the valve department. I packaged all different types of metals in one bag. At the time, I wasn't very flexible. Every Friday, we went on field trips. They were fun. When the, the school year uh, of 2016 to 2017 started. I started back to the Double Tree Hotel in the beginning and then I went to the Goodwill computers again. Over time there, I took apart computers that were old and not working anymore and I took apart keyboards and cleaned them. If they were broken, we had to throw them out. I then started going to Rockwell Automations every Friday for class. In the summer of 2017, I graduated high school and I worked at the Goodwill Computers again all summer long. I learned how to use a pallet jack. It was pretty easy. It was like riding a bike. Throughout the 2017 to 2018 school year, I started my full time at CVET. I went to community living. It was a cute little house. One of my favorite memories was when I, all the students who went to the community living schools were closed due to the winter weather and I made some homemade Christmas cookies. I was the only one there, but I learned a lot. I learned how to live on my own. During that year, I went to Rockwell in the afternoon. It was tough because I was missing high school and a lot, a lot, but I worked with Mrs. McDonald and Mrs. Legan for part 
of the year I worked at the Goodwill Computers again because I took a class. However, I was slow, but the most time I was misbehaving. I got low grades. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in the summer of 2018, I interned at the VA hospital in the mailroom. I didn't really agree with the job at first, but I loved it. The people were so nice there. On that summer, I told myself I was... What? In the summer, I told myself I was going to do better at CVEC in that upcoming year. During the 2018 to 2019 school year, I worked full time at Rockwell. Mrs. McDonald was retired at the time, and Mrs. Markoff was my teacher at the time. I did coffee and refreshment centers in the morning and the cafe in the afternoon. However, I didn't like working in the in the in the cafe. So I switched my job to the first aid cabinet. Mrs. Markov really liked me as an employee. She never knew she never knew the Rockwell building that well. So I showed her where to navigate. There were times where I thought that I wish I could I would have been the same way with Miss McDonald. And at the end of winter late February of 2019, I got a job at the Stanley J. Gazanovic building BMP Spring Company. To add to that, guys, um, I'm currently in the process of applying for another job, which um, I applied for Dave's Marketplace and Giant Eagle. Um, and I think my teacher wanted me to apply to CVS. So, yeah. BMP Spring Company on the corner of Nottingham and Redwood, two drives down from the railroad crossing. I really, really liked that job so much. However, I was only working there for a few hours a day due to CVEC hours. Somehow, I have come such a long way. I became a professional worker for the first time in the summer of 2019. I started working at the BMP Spring Company. I worked there Monday to Thursday, 7 11 a.m. I worked there all summer till CVEC started again. Of course, on the, my last year of CVEC of the 2019 to 2020 school year, I started working from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at the BMP Spring Cup. Mondays and Tuesdays, Wednesdays, I went to Rockwell all day and Thursdays and Fridays I work in the morning and Rockwell in the afternoon. I got to say I've come such a long way, it's been a long bumpy road that eventually got smoother. I remember the last couple times I stood on the stage. The first year I sang the national anthem, the second year I was an MC and now unfortunately it would end up saying standing here on the stage with a cap and gown on ready to continue on with my life in the future unfortunately sadly that never came true i'd like to thank all of my teachers for helping me a lot i really appreciate it i also like to thank my friends for being by my side i also like to thank my parents for their support as well and my brother for making me smile every day thank you everyone and good night. So that is my speech. Um, I'm sorry for the interruption of my mom. She is, I mean, I forget I am in a big, bigger bedroom, so it really does echo a lot in here. So thanks for watching. And for those who currently did graduate without exciting, not really the most exciting way to graduate, congratulations on your achievement for your for the class of 2020. Um, I hope you guys have a brilliant future and uh, over and out. One more thing I forgot to add, uh, tomorrow is my birthday. I'll be turning 22 tomorrow. So um, yeah, uh, just, just uh, let you know. Anyway, thanks again for watching.